Best not fall off your horse. See you in your way. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Shh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since Alden. I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick. <laughs> I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog killed. <laughs> mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishie answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am... confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. The 
greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it, if we falsify orders from Halfdan ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. Daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. <gasps> Show me what lies ahead. Under Arden. You're, you're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains! Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. What happened to the silver you took from Aldon? You could hire a band of cell swords with that much. It won't be enough. We need Rishia's Saxons at our side. Any fewer would be a death sentence. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Ferevit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself to force Rishia's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You'll have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to.
Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Faravid should be waiting at Stenweyer. After you all, will he be here? What are you doing? Hey, Ward, good to see you. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Luvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. 
Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. <laughs> Join us. We'll stay home out of spite. Its plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Fed of its army. Amor, over here. Shield ready. The battle is near. Careful, Niedinger. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Earl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. Gently, friend. I told Hafton because it was my duty. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Yulfina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue.
Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god, Hedon. But we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken!
is the last of them! the victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. North!
You meet the spirits this day, traitor. Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. The Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this Shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, and my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. It's not here. Where is he? I need your eyes, my friend. I struggled to be surprised. I was caught off guard. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! 
Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Ah, a thirsty foe? If you suck it back faster than me, you are the victor. Your silver. Let's see how much you'll risk. All in. Scout. Ha! We drink! Enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. <gasps> to Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory. To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom. Long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> What is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Sheath your weapon, it. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Team 
Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my arm. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the Corpse Hall. Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I am leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. The wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins. Day. I entered Yorkshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife. And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. I want to see the alarm. I have changed my mind. I should go. I should go. I'll follow you, Aegis, to glory and Join Valhalla. the blade to mine. Let ring the sword song this day.
Cast about this land, my friend. Over here. There you are, Gunner. And with a smile I haven't seen.